Hi, Cancer. What's up, my lovelies? I am so happy you guys are here. Thank you so much for uh, returning to the channel. Sorry I've been out for a while. Life has been chaotic and crazy. I've had so many different things happening and changes. So I really had to focus on, um, you know, all of that. And I just, you know, didn't have uh, a whole lot of spare time. So things are finally settling. So hopefully I will be able to deliver your messages more on a regular basis again. So Cancer, I hope you guys have all been wonderful while I've been out. I hope life is treating you well. And I hope that you guys have made it through the um, full moon eclipse that just happened yesterday um or or is happening now not sure if it's yesterday or today but i know the energies working into it have been pretty um wild <laughs> wild to say the least okay so cancer um please if my reading is resonating with you um hit the the like button um comment below um subscribe to the channel it really makes a huge difference okay and um, if you are, you know, looking for a more personal reading, please uh, check me out at my website. I am available for personal reads at um, MissMariesAngelicOracle.com, and you'll find my details below in the description box, okay? So let's get some messages. I am just pulling some uh, Oracle cards right now from the Angels and Ancestors deck by Kyle Gray. So please just bear with me. I'm shuffling away. Um, I haven't seen any cards for you guys. So usually when I'm, I'm uh, not getting any cards flipping out, it's like there's some sort of communication barrier that's, that's taken place. But let's see. Spirit Guides Angels, what messages do you have for my beautiful Cancer? Sign of Cancer, my little crabs. Uh, what messages do you have for Cancer, Spirit? What messages do we have for Cancer? Ooh, Seer. See beyond the current situation, Cancer. Yeah. So, you know, Spirit's really saying whatever's happening in your life, um, look beyond whatever it is that's happening. Like, look beyond the current situation. The bigger picture, if you will. Um, maybe like the why, why is this happening? Or, you know, this is, um, it's too many cards, but you know, sometimes it's like, this is bigger than even I am. Okay. So, um, I'm going to keep going here. Spirit, what other messages was the seer card bow? Why, why does cancer need to see beyond? Let go of the need to be right. The peacekeeper card. Someone needs to let go of the need to be right. Oh, Cancer. Cancer. That, are you guys being stubborn right now? Is it this energy? Um, yeah, Spirit's really saying, you know, that goes right along with, uh, you know, seeing beyond the current situation. Um, let go of, of the need to be right. Just, just let go. Let go. Whatever it is, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't need to be right. Follow the voice of your soul. Like, listen to your soul. Your soul is telling you, Cancer. Hey, hey, over here, Cancer, um, listen to me. I'm talking to you, Cancer. You don't need to be right, you know. Um, just, just look at the situation for what it is and move on move past it you know let it go um your your guys have it handled yep lady enjoy growth and reap the rewards right because you when you do you'll experience growth you will experience growth that's when you start receiving the rewards so you know that's great my dog just scared the crap out of me Okay, what other messages, Spirit? Embrace the energy of peace. Like, seriously, if you, you know, let go of the need to be right, the, the reward is peace. You will receive peace. You will feel much more at peace. 
some of you I think are I think it's this energy this card wanted to come out so this is twice I've seen it it's uh, winter take care of your needs you know there's the wolf here it's like yeah take care of yourself you know don't worry about anyone else don't worry about it you know dream about what you want D dream about the things you want to manifest start thinking about those things and leave it all behind just like close the door bye bye I don't need your stress bye sorry I'm having coffee I'm I'm tired sorry guys it tastes so good so cancer I am going to um, pull oh. from the tarot for cancer um, what is this all about what does cancer you know need to let go of what do they need to see beyond spirit what 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 do you have for cancer? What do they need to know right now? Knight of Pentacles. It's like you're going to get there is what they're saying. Ace of Swords. Yeah. It's like there is something new coming and different. You, this has been a journey for you. So the Knight of Pentacles, like they get there. It's slow, but they get there. Like they achieve what the goal is you're walking towards the ace of swords so congratulations wow and the hierophant it's like i'm hearing that there it's been a huge spiritual lesson um you've been through a lot cancer but it's like you have made you've made so much stride from where you were um, many of you many of you were in a really like you've been through a lot wow so lots of movement cancer just saying um, you guys have been through a lot yeah and you guys I I'm hearing made the decision to um, Go to your north node to stay on your life path or if you weren't you got on it you jumped on it it's like you passed a spiritual lesson with the hierophant here so you know this has been like these are all the lessons in the knight of pentacles down here see that and the knight of pentacles is the knight is like they're all behind him they're all behind him. So what he's walking towards is, and he's looking right at it, the way these cards came out, he's looking at the Ace of Swords. He's looking at a new adventure. This is a, this is a, a spiritual adventure right, right here. Sorry. This is a spiritual adventure. We have the Hierophant. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel with this card right and this is coming very quickly the knight of swords followed by the chariot so this ace of swords is coming into your life rather quickly cancer wow i'm so proud of you cancer you know i keep hearing you guys have been through it you guys have been real hurt you guys have been you guys suffered these, these past um, cycles that you've been through, you really suffered. There were some big ones. There were some big, big cycles. And they hurt. They did. But you did the work, is what Spirit's saying. You worked so hard. You worked through it all. Yeah, like you were in the Nine of Swords energy. It, you worked through this energy, worked through the anxiety and the nightmares and the pain. I'm hearing there was so much pain that you endured, that you went through, and you had to go through it on your own. You, you didn't, like, it's like you didn't get closure. You didn't get 
you know, like you didn't get any type of apologies. You didn't like people always blame you is what spirit said. They're always blaming you and not, you know, being accountable. Yeah. It's an illusion. See, this, the, the, whatever you were dealing with, with the moon card is here. It's like, there was this illusion and you cancer, you fought it. You worked through it. You saw, you're now seeing through the illusion. You actually believed it was you for a long time. Um, and you've worked through those fears now. You're no longer, you know, feeling that way. And because of that, you've got, you know, positive, po the Ace of Pentacles coming your direction, Cancer. It's right here. It's like the fruits of your labor. It's the fruits of, you know, you working through um, the, the cycles that spirit, that spirit put in your direction, you know, put on, on your path. You did it. It's like, this is you passing a spiritual test. So, oh, cancer, that's beautiful. Six of swords, you know, like you're going, you're, you're getting pulled out of the storm now in this um, deck, right? The crows, I don't have any problems with crows. Um, the crows are, are, you know, attached to your boat and they are, three are in the background and, and three are pulling you forward and you're leaving the rest of that crop behind you. You're moving away from the storm. This is what's coming for you, Cancer. This is what's coming. You're, you're moving, getting pulled out of the storm. You're going, you've got two aces here. You're going towards a new beginning. Yeah, it's, it's a new beginning. The, the page of cups is here, but this is offers, right? This is, could be a love offer. It could be a financial offer, a new opportunity, um, in the infancy stage, but it's still, yeah, it's the positive karma coming in. So this is the year of karma, guys. I keep saying it over and over. Here are your opportunities. Wow. You might ha be making a decision in love. So you, you and Gemini, you guys might be having a new opportunity in love. Um, you might be meeting someone new or you're going to have options um, where, you know, you are going to have multiple suitors. So it's this karmic wheel is here um, and it's turning, it's turning for you in your favor. It's not, it's not in reverse. It's not, it's like you, you did the work and now it's, it's time for the reward. So, you know, for, for those of, of us that have been, you know, found our way to the North node and we, we've, you know, done the work and we stayed there, um, even if we got knocked off for a minute and, you know, we caused some grief or turmoil or sadness, um, you know, we handled it with love. Um, you know, it's, you're, you're, you're on the right side of karma. So, you know, for those that are stuck in their, their dark night of the soul, like, and, and still doing the work, you know, right now the energy is, karma is getting push to you and it's not to hurt you. It's to help you. It's to help you get out of that energy and into, um, the energy of the North node and into the light, the love and the light that we're, we're supposed to be sharing with everyone, with the planet, with, you know, our friends, our family, um, animals, plants, water. Okay. Yeah, two of cups. Oh my gosh, cancer. Look at this. Like seriously, I've got death at the bottom, but I love this card because it's death and rebirth. It's like you already experienced the death. Now you're going towards the re a rebirth, a new beginning. Whoa, cancer. I have cancer. 
Cancer is my, ooh, Cancer is my Venus sign, guys. Whoa, whoa, and I am Gemini. Hope, the star. You, you guys, this is beautiful. This is amazing. Sorry about my phone. This is absolutely amazing. It, you know, you're going right towards the star. You've got the two cups here. That's my soulmate card. The lovers is here. Um, it's a decision in love. You're going to be, you know, meeting. I, I feel like you're, you're going to be meeting someone that actually gives you hope after everything you've been through, you know, you're going to be faced with someone who brings that light, that hope back into your life when it comes to love. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful read. I just saw the Eight of Wands. Knight of Wands, so there will be passion. You know, Knight of Wands is, is the player card too, but I just don't get player vibe. I feel like it's, there's going to be passion here. This is too many. Someone, though, who wants to fight for this connection. They do. This is someone who's going to be extremely passionate about you. And if it's not a love situation, it's a work opportunity, Cancer. The King of Cups. Wow. King of Cups showed up. This has been coming out a lot lately. Um... You know, I watch all the, the readers on um, YouTube. I support all of all of them. You know, I have, for my own readings, I go to them. And this has been coming out a lot. This King of Cups. Someone who's in touch with their emotions. Someone who is will fight. I said, the Seven of Wands. They're going to fight for you. This is like, I think you manifested this um, with the magician here. This is someone who has everything that they need. Like they're, they will fight to the very end for you, for the relationship. Oh, and a king of pentacles and a knight of, or the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. Oh gosh, Cancer, is someone holding on to your energy? Is this King of Pentacles holding on to your energy? I've got the Four of Cups here. It's like it came out together. So, King of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, and Four of Cups. Four of Cups is holding on, you know, to something, like they're holding on tight. It's also, you know, someone thinking and focused on you. It might be a king of pentacles. Wow, here comes the tower. Someone from, wow, death and rebirth. Someone wants to renew, has a rebirth with you. What is this about? What is this tower about, spirit, for cancer? Remember I said choices. Someone's regretting choosing the Queen of Wands. They're... Oh gosh. Someone... Someone is, might be taking action towards you. This could be someone from your past, Cancer. But I do think you're meeting someone new. Queen of Swords at the bottom. It's like you're Queen of swords this King of Pentacles. I'm getting that the King of Pentacles maybe was someone you were involved with in your past. And they chose Pentacle over, like they went to someone else. But they chose them because, um, well, for materialistic reasons and possibly sexual reasons. Um, they thought this person was stable. 
And I just heard that they're, um, oh, I'm not going to laugh, but I just, my guides just told me that for someone in particular, the person that they went to is extremely unstable. Um, we're talking like a, um, like stalker energy, someone who refuses to let someone go. Um, and, and you know, if that person, this person tries to get away from them, they're going to keep coming. Um, you know, they make, I don't remember the name of the movie, but you know, there's a movie. This It's like, this energy is like that movie, that, the, that person in the movie that's a stalker that, you know, like had an affair and wouldn't let the person go. Queen of Cups, so baby mama. Oh gosh. Okay. And the Empress and Cancer, you're the Empress. Okay. Um, this, uh, this Queen of Cups is not stable and this person's, you know, realizing that they, they, yeah, that they, they're the Ten of Swords, this, per, this King of Pentacles, they went for them for money. I think it was mutual. I think that the King of Pentacles thought the Queen of Cups had money and they're finding out that they don't. And I think that, oh yeah, King of Wands, they might be cheating with the King of Wands. Um, or they just gave this person passion. So the person, the King of Pentacles, all, um, also thought that the Queen of Cups had money and they, I, I mentioned sexual, um, they might have, you know, fulfilled them in that way, but they're finding out that they're a fake, that they're, yeah, they're moving away from this person and they're coming towards you, Cancer. I'm telling you, they're coming towards the Empress. They realize now, high priestess, they realize now, Cancer, that they walked away from their Empress, but I'm pretty sure you're just like, whatever, you know, like you took forever. You, you, you really did that to me. You hurt me. And I just, I just, I let you go and, and do your thing. I, I didn't bother you. I didn't come for you. You know, I, I, I just, I just let you go because I know that I'm worth more. And I feel like someone went from, you know, being in a lower energy. Yeah. Six of wands. And I think that because they went through this, it, they actually became like, I feel like they were becoming the high priestess or learning that they were a high priestess and it pushed them into, um, like this empress knows that they are intuitive. They know like they're psychic, like they might even be a tarot reader. Um, and this person left them behind, like walked away, said, I'm going towards, ooh, this, I'm, you know, going to go towards money. I'm going towards this sexual person. Um, you know, they didn't see the value over, over you, Cancer. They didn't see that you were the Empress and the High Priestess all wrapped up in one, that you're the Ten of Cups. They didn't see that. And the angels know. The angels have been watching. So, you know, the angels are like, we saw everything that happened. We, we watched you. We know what you did. Um, yeah, someone may have become a father. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're saying. They're saying, we know what you did. We know that you deceived someone here and we know that you, um, yeah, you hurt them. You put, you imprisoned them. You hurt them and you put them in a place, um, where they felt stuck. They, they, you know, were in a mind, trapped in their mind and trapped in their heart. This person had to recover. And I think that's the work that you've done cancer. And because you did it, your reward is coming in. You're going to have a lot of options here. So, um, choose wisely. My guides just said, choose wisely because this person might be coming back. Um, 
And, you know, it's up to you, Cancer, you know, what you want to do. Do you want to forgive them? Do you want to accept them back in your life? Because you don't have to. Um, you know, do you want them to just be in your life as a friend or, you know, um, I mean, it's up to you is for closure, whatever it is, but cancer, you're going to have options. Your ace of swords and ace of pentacles and your 10 of cups is you're walking right into it. So I love this reading for you, cancer. Uh, you guys take care and, um, I will see you guys on the next one. Okay. Bye, Cancer. Bye.